And it's uh, codes is OPC UA. Um, so, what is uh, codes is OPC UA, or what is OPC UA? What you see here all is the is the seven layer OC model, um, typically um, presented for for communication protocols. And um, what we what we see here is actually below the the physical layer. Above that comes the um, uh, IEE uh, 802 with RT and IRT uh, standards or now new arising TSN and above that the IP protocol and uh, above that the TCP IP communication and, and UDP communication. And what CODES provides is, um, are those two um, product families on the one end, um, uh, OPC UA client and the OPC UA server. And this is communication based on, a, yeah, on the TCP protocol. And um, this um, TCP protocol has the advantage that um, it's uh, that information cannot be lost, but on the other hand, because, uh, because uh, requests um, have, to be, um, uh, have to be committed by the, uh, by the other part, but, um, uh, but this has not much, yeah, I would say real time capabilities. So TCP could be, could, could be uh, worth for real time communication. So client and server are typically set up to communicate with with a visualization, for instance. So with a third party uh, visualization, for instance. And uh, OPC uh, CUA pops up uh, can be done via different protocols, um, via MQTT, via AMQP, and via UADP protocol. And uh, what act we actually done is uh, doing a pub sub via this um, UDP, UDP protocol. And um, um, what pub sub or OPC UA pub sub provides is actually an, an alternative mechanism for data uh, and event notification. So in comparison to client server, uh, which is a communication um, with typically with single clients with a guaranteed delivery pops up is meant to many to many configurations. So a pops up publisher sends a message to middleware without knowledge of any subscriber and the subscriber express their interest in specific types of data and they process messages that contain this data without the need to know where it originated from. They just um, uh, define a certain configuration and a certain data set and they, then they can communicate with each other. And the big advantage of OPC UA PubSub is that is an ideal communication for small and embedded controllers, but because in comparison to client server, it's a really lightweight communication protocol um, it's also written in IEC 61131 language, so uh, it's the same advantage as our uh, other IIoT libraries or field bus stacks, so you can bring them to any CODESYS controller. It has quite less system requirements, at least you just need to assess, have to access to Ethernet sockets by our sockets um, runtime component, component, and UDP is really ready for real-time communication, especially when you think on uh, TSN later or on, because um, uh, UDP communication has not this, this ping-pong communication that 
uh, that uh, every message has to be uh, confirmed that it really arrived. So this is a big advantage for, for UDP. But of course, there is uh, some, some work to do to, to enable that. <clears throat> um, and here's a little overview um, where we uh, see our products or where um, those technologies and communication protocols are used. So before I, I lot, uh, talked a lot about those web services like um, MQTT or the libraries for communication with, uh, with uh, Azure or Google platforms. So here, um, typically those libraries are located for um, communication uh, with, um, for instance, third party controllers or visualizations. Our PLC handler product comes in and uh, downwards in the field level, of course, you have those um, so field bus stacks now making the field level communication from the controller to the inputs and outputs and uh, to the drives, for example. So, and the new players now are, is, or the new player now is OPC UA and um, OPC UA uh, is typically meant for machine-to-machine um, uh, -machine communication, so controller-to-controller -controller communication on the one hand, and also for communication to, uh, to a higher level. Uh, and now with PubSub, we again have a technology or communication protocol which, uh, which with which you can enable such a controller to controller communication, but uh, especially with uh, together with TSN, uh, OPC UA pops up is yeah um, uh, is seen to be the future technology um, for all of that uh, communication layers, and is, uh, at the end um, together with TSN. Um, um, there is uh, the plan to even replace the field bus there in the, in the field level communication. So at the moment, uh, the typical use case for those OPC UA products are controller to controller or controller to third party uh, clients communication. And I would say uh, OPC UA client server is placed uh, when you need a guarantee uh, data transfer and when you have a bigger controller with a lot of memory and OPC UA pops up is placed on really small controllers and um, pops up uh, uh, small controllers with less, with less memory available. And um, uh, in, in later on, it may be uh, is a, is an answer to real time communication down to the field, to the sensors, or even to the cloud. And um, we also have in our um, tool set um, product named network variables. And the network variables are also UDP based, is actually uh, comparable to, to um, OPC UA pops up. It's our own protocol used for controller to controller communication, but um, uh, we see um, OPC UA pops up as the as the future for the uh, for this uh, kind of communication. Um, what we provide with our library code this OPC UA pops up is um, um, the possibility to exchange um, messages via the OPC UA pops up protocol between different controllers, so you can um, publish. <clears throat> and subscribe to messages according to uh, the OPC uh, unified architecture part 14, which defined the PubSub protocol. Um, the communication, as I said before, is based on UDP AP according to the rules defined of the OPC UA foundation named UADP. And um, we support uh, those profiles here, so header layouts, because um, OPC UA pops up is, is not OPC UA pops up, so that you, it is um, um, 
it is not um, clear that you can really uh, communicate to any publisher uh, sub or subscriber on the world because those um, profiles uh, come in place. So you have to support the same profile to be able to communicate um, with each other. And so um, we support these called periodic fixed settings. Um, with the library, uh, extensive diagnostic capabilities came up, so you can really do great um, diagnostics. And uh, also here, we have a little sample project with two applications where you can play uh, a publisher and a subscriber. Yeah. And um, it comes again to the sales information as well as the IoT libraries. Um, this product is um, available as single license and uh, again as platform buyout. So um, if you want to try the PubSubs library, just go to the US store and uh, download the package um, and uh, start the little example project, run up an application. And um, if you want to have a buyout for your controller, then uh, please call our colleagues in the, in the US for more.